Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to fix your iPhone if you get the message that it needs to cool down before it works. I'll show you what that message looks like. It says temperature, iPhone needs to cool down before you can use it. So you might get this message and wonder why that popped up, or if it, your iPhone is broken, or if there's some issue with it. And basically your iPhone keeps track of the temperature that the iPhone is at. And if it gets either too cold or too hot, you could have this message appear and you won't be able to use your iPhone. Let's hop out of here and open up just the web page for Apple. And it says, if your iPhone, iPad or iPod gets too hot or too cold, and it says here that the operating range of your iPhone is between 32 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit or zero to 35 degrees Celsius. So if your iPhone is either colder than that or hotter than that, then it won't perform optimally and it might pop up with that error message. Now, if you go down, basically it walks you through why that might happen. Basically, if you've left your phone in your car or outside and it's really cold or it's really hot during the summer, or potentially if you're playing really intensive graphics on your iPhone. So a game that has a lot of graphics and uses a lot of the processor, it might heat up your phone to the point that it's not gonna work optimally. Now, if you scroll down more, basically what it says to do here um, is what you want to do if you see this temperature warning is to turn off your device and either bring it to somewhere cooler if it's really hot or to somewhere warmer if it's really cold. So you can tap and hold the volume up and the power button until you see slide to power off there. And you'll want to turn off your phone and it's good if it's in a really cold place, bring it inside where it's at a normal, say 65, 70 degrees, or if it's really hot, get it out of the car or wherever it's really hot, basically bring it back to a normal temperature, wait for maybe 15, 20 minutes for it to fully kind of stabilize at that temperature, and then you can turn your phone back on and it should work fine. Keep in mind that if it gets really hot or really cold, that can drain your battery bunch. So if you might have had full battery <clears throat> when you get it turned back on, maybe it'll be drained down to half or low battery. So you might need to charge it again as well. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.